okay people welcome to this new youtube video and today we're going to be learning how to convert a grayscale image to a fully colored image or picture now i downloaded this picture from google and we don't have any reference um any colored reference of this image so we're just going to use this image like this and see how we can make it a colored picture now tools we're going to be using today are our pen tool and we're going to be using more of this effects area here this adjust image adjustment lab and stuff like that so if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications if you are returning um subscriber you're welcome okay so let's begin so what we do in this um, picture first of all will be to separate each part as a different entity on its own we we'll convert those to bitmaps and we'll apply some effect on it to um, make the picture colored now we'll start with the dress as you can see this is a black we see it as black here but it's this is a black and white image so no matter the color of this dress we'll see it as black so we're going to change the color of the dress first so the first thing we're going to do is to take our pen tool and as you can see you just draw and just take the shape of the dress itself as you can see I'm just trying to get the dress itself. As you can see, we're going. I'm getting there. If you make a mistake, you use Ctrl Z to undo a step and you continue. Now, this can be done for any picture you see anywhere that it's um, um, grayscale or black and white image so you do this same thing so now as you can see yeah so as you can see we have gotten a mask of the dress as you can see this mask can be turned to on and um, changed to any color but this is not what we are working with we are actually going to work with this we created itself so as you can see what you do is that you click once on the mask you created you hold shift down and you click on the image now you go to this top options here and you go to intersect so once you go to intersect, you pull out the one that you had before the mask you created, you delete it. Now, we have, as you can see, we have created a kind of version out of the main picture. So what we do now is we just go to bitmaps, convert this part to bitmap, make sure it's an RGB. Now the next thing we do is go to effects, go to adjust. We go to image adjustment lab now we can change the color of the clothing here as you can see all you have to do here is just play around with this as you can see we have a different color of the cloth next thing we are going to do we are going to do this hand um her, her arms so we'll do the same thing here like so we'll just get this area like so as you can see so now remember this area this cloth is on its own so i can't click this and highlight the cloth to intersect so i have to highlight a place that's still part of the picture so i'll click this and highlight the main picture itself 
so I'll go to intersect then this mask I created remember you remove it this um, let's see you see this little part here all you have to do is if you are not getting the if you are not able to highlight it you just um, um, highlight over that area to get it now you go to bitmap you convert it to bitmap then you go to effect adjust image adjustment lab now we'll reset it due to the last uh, one we did now all we have to do now is all we have to do now is to get an image uh, a color sorry a color that looks more like a human skin color now we'll go further we'll go we can move towards this side maybe move towards this side Okay, uh, sorry, my image was lost. So, as usual, this video I'm trying to make this video as short as possible so I won't be um, that precise. But once you are practicing with this, you can make sure you be as precise as possible now we can go further like this we'll come in here so I'll do the same thing for this side now I'm trying to rush this because I don't want the video to be long but while practicing you can spend as much time as you can to get the perfect skin color so we'll do the same thing for this side as you can see like so like so now all we have to do is highlight the main picture itself intersect we'll remove this and now we'll highlight this go to bitmaps convert now the same color we use for this side is still available when we go to effects and we go to image adjustment lab as you can see and to just pick out the same color as this other side now the next thing we're going to do is to go for the neck area so all we have to do is just do the same thing so this now once you get this concept is going to make this as simple as possible going to be very simple so the face is going to be a little bit more complex but not hard not difficult so we're going to do this um, by the way I want to say thank you to all those that have been dropping nice comments on my channel um, if you have um, ideas for tutorials if you want to learn certain things just comments on any of the videos or you just make a comment and that video will be done i'm going to because i'm here to make sure you see you use coral draw to the um highest potential okay so i've gotten the neck area so as you can tell we we'll do the same thing we intersect remove that um neck mask now we'll go to bitmaps we'll convert it to a bitmap then uh, go to image adjustment lab and the color should fit in automatically like so so now for the eye for the for this part we are going to take the lips so we are just going to take the lips as fast as as fast as we can because I'm trying to make sure this video is short now once we take once we take the lips like this maybe we just adjust here a little bit once we take the lips like this now we're going to take this inner part remember this inner part we are going to make this lips red so this inner part will not be red so we're going to highlight this and cut it off from this main part 
so later you understand because right now if we do like this as you can see that's what i'm talking about so next thing is this um the nose area this the nostrils we are going to make sure that these parts we will intersect those areas okay let's just intersect this let's intersect this also so the next two will be the the eyebrows So I'm going to do the eyebrows too. Now we'll take this intersect, take this intersect as you can see. Now for the eyes, for the eyes we're going to just take the eye like this. going to do the same thing for this other side like this now we are going to intersect and remove the main one or we'll intersect and remove the main image so now what we can effectively do now is to um, make a mask of the entire face so we'll do that from here any way you choose is okay. You do it like this. Do it like this. Do it like this. Do it like this. So now I'm just concerned with the face and the the ears. So I might not complete this totally. So the video will not be too long i don't even i don't really know how long the video is right now but i'm just trying to speed this up as much as possible so as you can see so as you can see still going still going so connect it to this other side now all we have to do now is to create a face a, a mask and then as you can see i've done the intersect now after i've, in, uh, I've done the intersect we we'll, um highlight all those parts we did on the face use ctrl x and use ctrl v so that those ones will be on top or you go to shift page up on your keyboard anyone now you go to bitmaps convert to bitmap you convert this to bitmap you go to effects go to adjust image adjustment lab then now the face is going to show like this but in this case you can use you can just try because i've not gotten this color um i've not gotten it perfectly contrasts so you just try and do it how you feel is good now for the lips this lips parts okay i don't know if i did the intersect for the lips okay no so all i have to do now since this head is already um on its own i will hi highlight the lip and highlight the main picture then i'll go to intersect then now this lip i should have the lip ready okay so all i have to do in this place now is to go to bitmaps go to convert to bitmap do this i'll go to effect adjust image adjustment lab and all i have to do is just to try and see how to make this lip red as you can see let's try to make it red as as red as So I reduce the brightness so I have to make that part 
to cut off these parts and bring them up as you can see we have the lips red for the hair we can forget about the hair the hair might still look good now this eyebrows as you can see instead of going to you can just go to brightness control b go to your brightness reduce the brightness to just make it darker or let's go let's go to bit let's just do the normal way we've been doing it image adjustment lab and reset it and just take the brightness down and do the same thing for the other eyebrow and now we'll just go to effects image adjustment lab and do the same thing for this part so i'm going to apply some some feather here let's apply some feather to, to make it look better okay so as you can see i'm, I'm going to stop here but you have gotten the concept and um you can just try it on your own so let me show you the original picture side by side so this is the original picture and this is what we've done so far and as you all know this was rushed so once you are trying it on your own you can take as much time as you can to get a perfect skin tone and that'll be all guys um if you want to support the channel you just um, click on the subscribe button you can also turn on post notifications so that you get new updates about new videos i try to just bring us um some kind of tutorials that uh, on coral draw that might not really be um circulation videos that or ideas that people might not know you could do on coral draw so it'd be good if you can subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one